He's the first French president to articulately woo Anglophone leaders in their own language. So, ladies and gentlemen, my, my first message is that France is back. But Emmanuel Macron is determined to get the rest of the world to speak French. He plans to double the number of French schools outside France and the number of students from developing countries coming to study at French universities. C'est un immense défi. It's an enormous challenge and we'll only achieve it if we know how to create a new generation, an activist, ambitious generation of those heroes we call French teachers. The French government says it's currently the world's fifth most spoken language, after Mandarin, English, Spanish and Arabic. But it's also the fastest growing, thanks to population growth in Francophone West Africa. Linguists forecast 700 million people around the world will be speaking French by 2050, which will mean it overtakes Spanish to become the world's third most spoken language. But President Macron says France can't take that for granted. The problem is that French is falling out of favour in its former colonies. The country with the most French speakers now is the Democratic Republic of Congo, but young people are increasingly switching to local languages. The prize-winning Moroccan-born author Leila Slimani has been appointed by the president to try and change that. For lots of people, the French language is seen as wonderful but complex, a language that's only for literature and discussions in salons. But it's not seen as a useful language, a pragmatic language, one that could help you get a job. The French president is hoping to persuade students across Africa that savoir-faire in the language of Molière will give them the je ne sais quoi they need to get ahead. Elena Casas, CGTN, Paris.